Yo bar, what's up and what's happening? And today I've got a little bit of a rant with people who are on online dieting groups. So the next question that really got on my nerves was a anonymous person who came across and said that they have been crash dieting or yo-yo dieting for years and years. And they've now found that no matter how hard they try or how good they are at trying to lose weight, they just can't lose weight. And another group member on here actually suggested that that person, that individual may have crashed their metabolism. Now, that actually seems like something that could likely have happened. If you're someone who has dieted for a long, long time trying to lose weight and you've done re like really hardcore dieting, like you've maybe only fed yourself once a day or you've taken on the IF diet and you've really, really narrowed that window down to like one or maybe two hours a day. And for the rest of the day, you're just intermittent fasting and just chugging down loads and loads of water and things, not that water's bad, but you kind of tend to find those people who are really at the nth degree of the diet and they're taking it to the extreme. And they're still people who are looking to lose weight well it could well be possible that you've actually crashed your metabolism and you can crash your metabolism and there has been cases where people have crashed their metabolism and it's very very hard to get back i actually have experience with a diabetic um and he won when he was told he had diabetes his immediate reaction was to go out or not go out but his immediate reaction was to lose weight he lost a stone and a half in about two weeks and i'm sure some of you think well stone and a half in two weeks well done no it was the worst thing for him because he came to me and he said i'm stuck i can't lose any more weight i've tried and i've tried and i've tried and i just can't and i've still got this diabetes in fact my diabetes is now worse. My glucose, my, my HbA1c reading is higher. My glucose reading in my blood is higher than it was before. Why is that? There are lots of different reasons to why that is the case, but one of the main things is, is that he's actually crashed his metabolism. So you've got an example there on a, um, on a members group of someone saying, basically, I think I might have crashed my metabolism. I feel tired, I feel lousy, I don't have any drive, and I'm really stuck with my dieting. So someone such as myself, who's a nutrition coach, will suggest that yes, you may possibly have crashed your diet and you need to really think about your next moves, your next steps, because your next steps might be that you actually have to reintroduce healthy food, healthy balances, back into your lifestyle to try and encourage your metabolism to come back up and it can take some time. I've known some people's metabolisms to be crashed for over a year and it has taken us a long time to be able to get that person to start to naturally lose weight again. However, unfortunately, there are people on these groups who kind of are on the opposite side of that and they're almost suggesting that you do it harder. So this person saying, I'm basically starving myself every day now and I'm down to 800 calories a day. I'm down to a thousand calories a day. And you have people on these groups who are suggesting to do it even further, to go even harder, go down to 600 calories, go to almost starvation. And you're thinking, but you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle. Regardless of the fact whether you're losing weight or not, now the weight loss has become an obsession and the actual journey of wanting to just improve have a better balance, have a better lifestyle and be just be eating better food has completely gone out of the window. And so unfortunately, I had to go back to this group of people and go back to the original question and say that, yes, I do think you may have crashed your metabolism, although I don't know, but there are signs there that would suggest that. However, other than that, the things that you're suggesting in terms of what you're eating or what you're not eating or the fact that you're having this really, really narrow window of time to eat, can't be exacerbated to, to go further on and say, um, you know, I'm not gonna eat at all, or I'm only gonna eat once every two days now, or I'm going to minimalize my eating window down to just half an hour in one day, and that means you're not gonna get the amount of calories your body needs. What's gonna happen is it's gonna start, you know, your body's gonna start dropping weight, but it's dropping weight because of starvation, not because of. A, a scheduled intermittent fasting period or a good diet plan such as a decent keto diet where you lose weight over time. What I always say to people is, losing weight is a little bit like a stock, okay? You've got the stock market. If you look at a stock, you invest in it, 
and you invest in it and you invest in it over and over again. And as that stock grows, as your balance grows and the stock continues to grow over years, over decades, when you come to cash it in later on down the line, that stock will be worth so much more. And it's a bit like your body. When you put into it, put into it, put the fitness in, put the movement in, put the balance in, put the nutrition in, put the social in, uh, take away the things that aren't good for it. When you start to adjust it, which takes time, when you start to adjust it and you do it over a long period of time, the dividend comes back to you tenfold. And that's what I think people are missing. You're looking at the now and you want to look at the future. Yes, you want a result now, but now can almost wait if that doesn't sound too funny. But now can almost wait. OK, what we want now is we want to start. And where we start is the most important point in our journey because we're starting from somewhere. But we intend to go somewhere else as well. And this kind of all goes into feeding into habits. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry to rant and I hope you found this video slightly interesting or at least slightly enjoyable. But I felt it was important to be able to share some of my experiences as a coach with you. Like it or leave it. To help the YT algorithm, you can give it a thumbs up and also give me a subscribe. Obviously, it helps the channel. Be fit, be healthy and of course, be a boss bar. It's the Yo Bossy Weeze.